Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today, I'm gonna start cutting down some trees out of this old fence row here. We're gonna cut out the ones that we don't wanna keep. And then I've got the wood chipper on the back of the 2515. And I'm gonna try to chip up some of these branches today. And I'm gonna try to shoot them directly onto the orchard. Now normally I do put wood chips on the orchard every year, but I'm hoping that I can just move the tractor around today and we can just get everything mulched in as we're cutting this tree up. So there's some old woven wire fence that's grown through and around this tree. Let's see if I can get it out first. In this fence post right here, the tree roots have actually grown around it. So it's, I can't get it to pull out with the tractor. So we'll have to figure that out later. These right here are growing right out of the tree. As you can see, my electric meter is right there. And this tree, we need to fall in the opposite direction. So to do that, to, to, I think to make it easier, I'm gonna cut off one limb on this side and it's gonna drop over here toward the driveway. The rest of the weight should be in the opposite direction and it should wanna naturally fall back toward the field. Well, I have had a heck of a start to my day today. So when I went to hook up the wood chipper, I ended up smashing my thumb and then I pinched my palm in my hand and both of them were bleeding. I went to put gas or diesel in the tractor, wasn't paying attention, spilled it all over the concrete. And then the first cut on this tree was above my head. So all that sawdust went right down my shirt. So now I'm gonna itch the rest of the day too. So cutting off the first limb went well. Um, it landed right here in the driveway. We didn't hit the utility pole. This first section right here is gonna be hauled off as firewood. The rest of this we're gonna chip up and put on the orchard. The wood chipper will take up to an eight inch diameter. I think that one is probably only about five inches in diameter. So this is all plenty small enough to go through the wood chipper. And I've cut up the branches into a lot of smaller pieces. That way they're long and straight and they will run through the wood chipper a lot better. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run the first set of limbs through. Let's see if we can get these trees mulched. So this was the biggest limb that I put through the wood chipper it had about a five inch diameter. And as soon as it started to feed in, it started to slow the machine down. So I grabbed the lever and I pulled down on it. That lifted the feed roller. It stopped it from pulling in the limb. I let it get back up on speed. And then I let it go ahead, chip the rest of the limb up and it did just fine. But this one was big enough to slow the machine down.
So I've ran the first set of limbs through the wood chipper and that probably added an extra 30 to 45 minutes on this just to drag the limbs over here and to run them through the tractor and move the tractor around. So definitely made the job, it's gonna make the job take a little bit longer, maybe two to three times longer, but it will be completely cleaned up when we're done. So today is the first time I've ran the wood chipper on the 2515. So this is a 24 horsepower tractor, but at the PTO we have about 19 to 20 horsepower and the Woodmax wood chipper requires 20 minimum. So we are right at the minimum or maybe, maybe a little bit below the minimum. And this is supposed to do an eight inch limb. And I could tell on a five inch limb that it was definitely slowing the machine down trying to chip, a, chip one that size. And this is a mechanical wood chipper. So it runs everything through at one speed. There's only one speed on this thing. So whether it's a one inch limb or an eight inch limb, it just runs it through at the exact same speed. Um, they do offer hydraulic driven models and they have a speed control so you can adjust the feed rate So I can see in a situation like this that the speed control could be better to slow it down on those bigger limbs But uh, I didn't really have much choice about what I bought because I bought this at auction I got a pretty good deal on it So you get what you you buy and it's ran perfectly fine on the big tractor It's just uh, first time running on a smaller tractor. I'm starting to see the limitations of the wood chipper so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop this tree on the ground, I think. So the wire that was growing through, it looked like it was fairly, like a couple strands up high. The rest of it looked like it actually grew around the base. So I'm hoping the very bottom of this tree, there's no wire and I don't get my chainsaw in it and doll up the chain or tear up the chain. So hopefully, hopefully we can drop this without any problems. The saw actually is not long enough to go straight all the way through. Throw a couple wedges in here. Better safe than sorry. So right here is one of the main reasons why I'm not a real big fan of just dropping like almost an entire tree because the crown of the tree ends up sitting up and this, this is up in the air. And now when you cut the limbs, it could either roll left or roll right. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't roll toward you and rolls away from you. So gotta be real careful cutting this up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this limb up and get it out of here first before we even mess with that one. Instead of trying to drag all this out by hand, let me just grab the tractor. It's still got the tree puller on it. I can probably move these around. I have to admit that was the uh, funnest part of the job so far. Everything else has pretty much felt like work.
Then I get my chain caught in that one. Just the way it twisted. Well, I think it's another use for the tractor. Well, I was able to drag all of those limbs out and get them closer to the wood chipper over here. I've tried to spread them out as best I can. I just need to cut them up into small pieces, get them chipped up. All right, I got all the limbs chipped up. Uh, Rebecca came out and helped drag the limbs and get them closer to the chipper as I chipped them, so that sped things up quite a bit. I was able to mulch a total of 10 out of the 18 fruit trees here in our orchard, so it's halfway mulched, so that's good. And then I decided to keep all everything that was basically four inches and bigger in diameter, I decided to just keep that for firewood. So I've got several pieces over here I think I've got a total of about 12 pieces to pick up. Of course, that one over there is a pretty decent size. That was about, I had an 18 inch chainsaw and it didn't quite go all the way through. So that's at least an 18 inch diameter at the base of that tree. But I'm gonna grab the other tractor with the grapple and see if we can get this all hauled over to the firewood shed. All but one, not bad. So I'd say today was a pretty productive day. Um, we got that one tree cut up, chipped up, and all hauled away in, in uh, about five hours. So I don't think that was too bad for one probably medium sized tree. And today we tried to kill like two birds with one stone, right? We, we tried to mulch the orchard and cut down a tree. Um, ended up dragging the limbs around quite a bit to follow the chipper as we directly put them on to each one of these trees. I don't know if this was necessarily the best route. 
it was something different. We tried it out. I don't know if I would do it again necessarily. It's probably easier just to keep everything in one place and keep it as close as possible to each other and put the chips in a pile or in a wagon and just haul them over here with a bucket. So uh, try things a little different. I don't know if I would do it this way again necessarily. So we've been pushing pretty hard to get these old fence rows torn out, cleaned up so that we can run new fence and get this front field fenced in and turned into pasture. That's our like number one goal this year. And I really am hoping to have that done by April, May timeframe to have it fenced in and planted. And so far I feel like we're making good progress. So I, I have high hopes that we're gonna meet our timeline, um, but it's gonna still take a lot more work to finally get there. But I feel like, I feel like we're making good progress and, and I think we're on the right path. But anyway, I think I'm gonna have to call tonight. I need to put the rest of this equipment up, get, you know, for the night. And I need to probably go help Rebecca with the chores. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.